terrible news. We have to actually loose them separately. I just tied Lila back. And now I have to loose Honcho. Bruno is legit in the garage. Because while I was gone, she beat up Bruno. And yesterday, Honcho beat up Bruno. So... I'll show y'all what Bruno looks like right now. It's just a little cut on his face. But it's just crazy that I have to loose each of them by themselves. I have to walk Bruno in a minute. Right now I'm a loose honcho. Oh. <laughs> Bro, let me loose ya. Buddy? Buddy boy? Hold on. As I was saying, I have to loose them separately. I'm about to actually walk Bruno now because he can't be loose. Get it! Get it! Get the ball! Uh, never mind. I'm gonna go walk Bruno. Y'all will see him in a minute. Show y'all Bruno. <laughs> Bruno, Bruno, sit. Bruno, look at his little cut on his face. He's doing too much. He's excited to see me. But this is his little cut. Sit, buddy. Sit. Sit. This is his little cut on his face. It was worse yesterday than it happened. But yeah, so I'm about to walk him and then put him back. <laughs> and then put him back in here. So, yeah, that's that. That's the update. <laughs> Bruno now. Let's go. Come on, Bruno. Let's go in the woods. So, I'm walking Bruno now. Um, today, I'm actually going to cook. So, y'all are going to see me make the food that I'm going to make for dinner. And this dinner will be for Thursday and Friday. And, yeah, so that's that. That is the plan. And that's really most of the vlog will be me cooking the rest of the way. But here's Hooker. I messed up. Y'all heard that. Here's Booker. Just, he's been chilling over here for a while. You know? Hope he's okay. Hey, you alright, boy? He looks happy. But I'm walking Bruno now during my 15-minute break. And... Then he's going to go back in the garage. Honcho just went in the garage just now. I'll just switch them out. I'll just make him come out. But, um, yeah, that's really all I'm going to do. I'm walk I'm working today. So, yeah, I just want to update y'all. Wish me luck. So, I'm waiting on the other ingredients. My sister's on the way back home with them. But... I'm going to start prepping everything, everything like that, so I'm going to start cutting the green onions, and I have to cut a few other things, I think, probably just regular onions also, but other than that, that's what I'm doing right now, you can hear Bruno crying in the background, he's in the garage, but yeah, that's what's going on, so I have chicken here, and I preheated the oven, well, I'm preheating the oven to 400, and we're just going to wait on that. I'm going to season it in a few, but I just wanted to say that I already cut up the bacon and the green onions. I'm just waiting on the other recipes, with the other part of the recipes to get here. But yeah, I have most of the things here. I'm just missing probably one item or two, and then I am good. Honestly, I have this pan for the chicken. I have this for the noodles, both noodles. Um, and I'm going to mix them together with the seasonings in that bowl for the chicken. And then this will be for the broccoli. Um, it will be in the oven as well with the chicken. But whenever I put in the chicken the second time. And yeah, so that's that. And that is what's going on right now. So I cleaned the chicken, it was in vinegar water, 
I already threw away the, you know, most of the things I cut off. But yeah, so I cleaned the chicken. And I'm about to season them. The oven's done. It's at 400. But I'm about to season them now. First call is half a teaspoon of, well, I'm sorry, <laughs> one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of olive oil. That is what And put them in the oven. And now I'm going to flip this and put it back in the oven for 25 more minutes. Um, and then I will make the sauce. There's the sauce for the chicken. And they're going to go back in the oven. I'm going to cut the shallots. Um, while I do that, I'm going to be cooking the bacon a little bit. That's what I'm doing right now. And the chicken's back in the oven right now. It has four more minutes on it, but that's what's happening right now. And then I'm boiling more water for these. Link the video of what I went by, but this is done. And then now I'm almost done with this. I just have to add the ingredients to it. But the chicken is almost done, and the vegetables, of course, is almost done. I'll just show you what it looks like right now. So you can't really see, but chicken, veggies. Alright, so the food's done.
pasuje. Sprouts that are on the sweet potato, they're not like, like like white potato, or some people call it ice potato. The sprouts does not produce toxin. Therefore, you can take the sprouts off, add it to a salad, they give it crunch. Or you can take the sprouts and stir fry. Very good for your body. The sweet potato is a part of a Tia's family. It's from generation to generation. My great grandfather planted these these are called old time sweet potatoes. And the same seeds that we're using today are the same seeds that my great great grandfather used when he planted his sweet potatoes. My father planted sweet potatoes, acres and acres of sweet potatoes. And he kept the same seeds and he's using the same seeds year after year. And so here is another generation that has put their hands on these old sweet potatoes. Okay, so I just want to talk about Booker T. Y'all saw him a few times on here. But, didn't really know him because I started this channel kind of late, you know. He was 15, well, 14, 15 in human years, but in dog years, you can do the math on that. Um... He passed away on October 6th, and yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know, I haven't posted a vlog since I don't know when, but yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know, um, to be honest, life hasn't been the same without him. It's only been a couple weeks, but still. And the dogs. <laughs> oh Speaking of the dogs. <laughs> Bruno and Lila just, you know. <laughs> but. But I'm back. Speaking of the dogs, um, I wanted to do this outside because you know the sunlight, you can see me. But this is Bruno right here. Speaking of the dogs, you can tell they know, and they were mourning as well. And yeah, um, I just thought I should let y'all know so that you wouldn't be like, why isn't he in these vlogs anymore? Bring the dogs back, bring Booker T back. But yeah, um, I just want to let y'all know. Sorry to end this on a, you know, sad note. But, yeah. Just want y'all to know what has happened. I want to say bye, Bruno. Bruno! He's shy. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.